Well, hello everybody. Brandon here again. Uh, today we're we're dressing the head, uh, putting the valves in, uh, the valve springs, all that. We're we're just, I've already done this side. We've got two left. I thought I'd just record and and post the the other two. This one here is the intake, right here. This one here is the exhaust. So got everything nice and cleaned out. Um, so we're just gonna put these last two in and then wrap it in a towel until I have the block ready for the head. So here we go. This is the process I go through when I'm dressing a head. Valve, I dunk the end of the valve in oil and I put it up inside of the guide there. New seals, I get a socket that's about the same size as the shoulder of the seal and you press it into place, just like that. Spring, spring cap, pry bar. You get your keepers and you put the keepers in one at a time. There you go. So the intake is now dressed right here. Then same thing on the exhaust. You put a little bit of oil on the end of your valve stem. You put it in through the guide. Your valve seals. Set it with the socket, spring, cap, keepers. Set your pry bar in. There you go. Our engine head is fully dressed. I just hold it in a vise and I put the towel around the vise so it doesn't actually bite on the steel. But this is it. Fully dressed. All eight valves. And this is the combustion chamber side. Oh. Anyways, having a lot of fun these days. Putting together this engine, I'm taking a break from my other Jeeps right now. I needed to stop working on them. It just gets so self-consuming. And sometimes you just don't make enough progress to make it enjoyable. So I had to take a break. I'm going to be rebuilding this four-cylinder engine right now, creating it. Then I'm going to be building the 440 Magnum, which I recently got. I'm thinking about the build I want to do that one, but it's going to require... I'm thinking I'm going to have to get that one decked and, and uh, reboard. Not 100% sure yet, though. Um, and then also after that, I'm going to be doing the AMC 360 V8. Um, looking really forward to that one, too. That one's supposed to have a special cam from what I hear, but I've never, never mic'd it or anything like that. All I know is that I needed to take a break from building Jeeps. So I stopped that for a little bit and I'm building engines now just to kind of pass the time and still feel good about doing something, but not so much as important as keeping a Jeep running. Because uh, you Jeep guys understand that once you have a Jeep running, it takes a lot just to keep it running most of the time. Uh, Unless of course you get a new one that, you know, I guess you could technically call it a pseudo Jeep, but they're still pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, I mean, how many world wars did all the other vehicle manufacturers win, huh? We go Jeep. By the way, Jeep, I like the commercial. I think you should put it back up. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a really good end of your winter here. Uh, beginning of March, so hopefully it starts consistently staying warm. Here in Vegas, it went on a cold spell again. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's like in the 50s and I'm cold. But I'm just waiting for it to get nice and warm again. Um, Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you guys find my videos informative and, you know... I hope, hopefully I'm doing it for, for something other than just to record myself and post it on YouTube. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.